Power is the heart of our robot. Just like our body that needs food to think, to work and to move, robot must have some kind of power that brings its motors, sensors and brains to life. Choosing the right way to power your robot is very very important. Otherwise, your robot might behave strangely, get damaged or simply refuse to work. So power basics and power distribution in robotics is one of the most fundamental steps that you must understand before getting started with robotics. Now one more thing, if you are into DIY electronics and robotics, make sure you check out our channel, you will find a lot of useful information there. You can thank me later. First, let's take a look at some of the most common power distribution systems. First one would be batteries. They are easy to use, affordable and best for mobile robots. Power adapters are another option, especially when you are testing your robot indoors and you don't want to worry about running out of power. Some advanced lightweight and eco-friendly robots use solar panels, but for beginners it might be a tricky option. And then there is something called fuel cells, which are used in advanced robots and for beginners you don't have to worry about that. But the thing is, when we are building our own robot, choosing the right power source might be a little bit tricky. But don't worry guys, I will make it easy for you. These are the main things that you need to check when you are choosing a power source for your robot. The first thing is, your robot will be having different components, different elements like sensors, motors, microcontrollers, etc. So, the total current drawn by the robot will be the sum of currents drawn by all these individual elements. So, you need to have an understanding of the total current needed by the robot. Now, when we are considering a power source, especially a battery, there are mainly three things, voltage, current and capacity. The voltage tells us the push the electricity has. All the different elements, the motors, sensors and the microcontrollers need some level of voltage in order to work properly. So we need to make sure that the battery or the power source that we use can provide that voltage. And next we have something called capacity and this will be usually denoted by MAH or milliampere hour. And this is like the size of the fuel tank. The bigger the number, your robot will be able to run longer without the need for a recharge. And then we have the current. And depending on the elements that we are using, your robot might be using different amount of current. And we have to make sure that the battery or the power source that we are using should be able to safely provide that current without overheating. Now, let's take a look at different batteries that are available here. We have alkaline batteries like AA battery, AAA battery or 9 volt battery that are cheap, easy to find and best for mobile robots. If you are a beginner and getting started with Roborex, it would be a good idea to start with these batteries. Next we have nickel metal hydride batteries that are safe and rechargeable and best for beginners and kids. Next we have lithium ion batteries which are commonly found in laptops, mobile phones, etc. They are powerful and can be recharged. But the thing is, we need to make sure that there is a proper charging system in order to recharge these batteries. Then we have the lithium polymer batteries that are more powerful and lightweight. So they are usually used in drones and RC robots, but they could be dangerous if they are not handled properly. So if you are a beginner, it's best to go with a AA battery, a AAA battery, a 9 volt battery or a nickel metal hydride battery. As you get deeper into building more advanced robots, you will also start designing your own circuits to manage the power flow more efficiently. And that's where a good circuit design becomes very very important. A good circuit that will help the battery to work with the components safely. Speaking about circuit design, I would like to thank our sponsor, Antium PCB Designer for sponsoring this video. It is one of the best tools out there to create professional quality circuit for your robotics projects. If you watch our videos, you know we use a tool called Atium for most of our robotics projects to draw our circuits and design our own PCBs. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Atium and if you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are going to love it. An Atium subscription includes something called Atium 365 which lets you design, share and manufacture your project everything in one place. You can even collaborate on your circuit with friends and share real-time feedback. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description so you can download and try it for yourself. Now, when it comes to connecting your battery to your robot, there are a few golden rules that you need to keep in mind. The first thing would be the polarity. Usually, the red wire will be positive 
and the black wire will be negative. If you connect them wrongly, you could damage the robot instantly. Always use a proper battery holder or a battery connector. And it's not always a good idea to just tape the wires together. It's not safe and it doesn't last long. And if your robot is big and it draws a huge amount of power, it's better to use a fuse so that if something goes wrong with the power connection, it could protect your robot. And it's always a good idea to add a simple on-off switch, which is a very simple process and it will help you a lot in controlling active robots, trust me. Last but not the least, always, always check the power requirements, the voltage and current requirement of your robot before connecting the power source to the robot. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give this video a like. I really appreciate it. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. So see you in the next video. And guys, if you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. I am here to help.